back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Naomi and this is Real Naomi B, where we focus on lifestyle, fashion, beauty, and travel. But let's just get down to the meat of the mess because today is supposed to be a vlog. I wasn't able to do that because of some technical difficulties, some major technical difficulties, if you will. Girl, tell me why I sat down to edit this vlog and there was absolutely no audio. I recorded an entire vlog from Sunday to Saturday, was talking to you guys, we got ready together, I shared outfits, we did a couple activities, absolutely no audio. I could cry, but instead, I called my best friend, I called my wife, and we pretty much, you know, tried to make the best of it, we laughed about it. It's something I need to pay attention to and ensure that all the little gadgets that I have are actually working. What's the point of having all these gadgets if I'm not using them to actually create the content that you guys really enjoy? So, today what I will be doing is walking you through the entire vlog of what happened last week. So if you're interested in seeing this video, keep on watching. <laughs> Last Sunday was a very big festival in my area. If you're Hindu, then you are not new to this festival. This happens every year. They throw colored powder around on each other and basically celebrate and dance and play music. This celebration is called Holi and that is the Hindu terminology for the celebration. Each different color powder signifies a different meaning. It means the start of a new beginning, a new season. If you want more information on the backstory or more context into what Holi really is, I recommend that you hit up your homegirl Google and she'll be able to give you all the details on that. But for me, I, I'm just here for the vibes. I'm here to share the vibes and show the vibes and enjoy the vibes. That's all I have for you. But Guyanese people call Holi Pagwa. So that's how I, that's just the terminology that I use with my family. Um, Melissa and I went, Christina, which is Melissa's cousin, my cousin-in-law, her sister and her children, we all met up at the festival and we just had a phenomenal time. Just to backtrack a bit, I actually popped into Rainbows to pick up a white shirt because the dress code for the celebration is all white. You're supposed to wear white or some form of white garment so the colors actually show and pop and you can actually celebrate with everyone i did not have any white pieces that i was gonna sacrifice on this day we went to rainbow shops to pick up a white long sleeve tee so that could be our sacrificial lamb if you will melissa got a white hoodie girl i could not wait I could not wait to run in the streets and have them throw the colored powder on me that the first float that passed I was literally at the float hands open waiting for them to shower the color powder on me I don't know I'm just that type of girl if I'm gonna go and do something I'm not going to tiptoe around it I'm going to completely submerge myself in the culture and learn and celebrate with the people that I love and also the fact that they are willing to share this part of their culture with me is a blessing within itself so yeah we did that now let's get into a beautiful montage of what this entire day was like agenda 
was going up to the Airbnb. My wife and I, we bought a house a few years ago and we decided to make it an income property. We completely got the house and we did a full on renovation as well as sign up to be Airbnb host. So since late last year, we have been using our first home as an Airbnb. And I gotta say, as first time hosts, we have been doing a great job of providing a high quality, homey, warm environment for our guests. We officially hit super host status, I believe, last week. And you guys, I'm a super host. We are super hosts over here because if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it well. We're gonna go hard. We're gonna put in all the work. That is just extremely telling of the type of space and environment that we've created for our guests. If you are looking for a luxury Airbnb in the Pocono area, I'll have all the links to our Airbnb in the details. If you wanna see the pictures of what the overall house looks like, go ahead and click on the link and of course if you want to book with us you know what to do but back to the airbnb we went up to give it a little refresh we love our cleaner shout out to her she does a phenomenal job of ensuring that the airbnb stays to the standard that we like however ever so often we'll drive up to the house and we'll do the cleaning ourselves that way we can do a deep clean and look for the little things that maybe someone else will overlook but let's just get into one detail that i want to share with you if you're thinking about starting an airbnb how you can actually splurge and provide a really great quality experience without breaking the bank one thing melissa and i decided that we were going to do is we were going to invest in getting really good quality bedding we not only got a phenomenal mattress but we also got a topper for the mattress and as well as we bought some really high quality sheets from amazon it's an airbnb we have people coming Coming in and out so buying expensive sheets wouldn't necessarily be a great investment because people eat in bed people get stained people don't necessarily treat the home as their own as much as you would like them to we decided that we were going to get some really good quality sheets but from amazon these sheets are so soft and they get softer with every wash if you're looking for a really high quality bedding but for a fraction of the cost i will of course have those links in the description for you we got this rust color duvet cover and we stuffed it with two duvets to give it that nice fluffy look the look of a fluffy bed is just so inviting it screams comfort it screams luxury after a long day it was time to make melissa and i dinner and one thing i love about having that space is also the fact that it doubles as a vacation home whenever we want to you know spend some time away from the busy city so every time we go to the house i try to actually cook in the kitchen i love cooking in that kitchen melissa does majority of the cooking when we're in new york i'm not gonna lie but once we're at the house girl best believe i'm a cook so tonight i made us a really healthy and clean meal we did pan seared tilapia garlic butter noodles with a persian cucumber salad and a side of asparagus i'm telling you girl this was a top tier so yummy but so clean i feel like this is one of the things that i've been trying to push myself to do more often is to incorporate the things that i love to eat but just eating in smaller portions you don't have to cut out the things that you enjoy eating to lose weight or to maintain a healthy lifestyle
now we're back in New York and today I decided to get up extremely early because we didn't get to make it to the gym so I told myself that even if I don't get to go to the gym this is the perfect opportunity to get my steps in I have a goal of ensuring that if I'm not having a super active day I at least try to get a thousand steps in with this walk I was able to get so close to my goal of 10,000 steps I got to 850 steps wrapping the day up with dinner tonight we're having leftover tilapia from the day before steamed veggies and a small serving of quinoa and this is what I mean by balance making healthy choices and realizing that you do not have to sacrifice taste to eat clean and to eat healthy I thoroughly enjoyed this dinner by the way to cap off this week we decided last minute to spend some time with our friends we decided to go to the movies shout out to Carrie, Brianna and Christian for always finding time to hang out with us first of all Civil War was so anticlimactic. There were probably one or two scenes whereas I, I felt like it was really intense, whereas I felt like we were actually in a civil war. Outside of that girl, honestly, don't waste your money. Wait until you can stream it at home to watch it. I'm not saying that you should not watch the movie. I'm just saying it's not worth you spending money to go and watch it luckily we do have an amc membership where we pay a monthly fee which gives us the ability to watch 12 movies in that month and we try our best to use it as much as possible we are big movie lovers so it really is cost effective to get a membership if this is an activity that you enjoy doing if you're thinking about going to watch a movie and you see civil war I recommend that you skip on it. We had a quick little night out at the Dark Horse Tavern in Rockville Center. This is a moody, kind of funky little um, dive bar where you can get drinks and appetizers and little finger foods. I believe on Fridays or over the weekend they have a live DJ and it was at the time. The vibes was right. I can have a vibe literally anywhere. If you've never been to a dive bar before, I think that's the, a pretty cool one to check out. The drinks are good. The vibe is cool. I think Melissa had loaded fries and it came with like cheese and bacon bits and stuff like that and she thoroughly enjoyed that. It was just the perfect way to end off the night with our friends. Lastly, let's talk about about the fact that I found a new nail tech. No thanks to you. I know a lot of you guys who are watching this video lives in New York and not one of you guys recommended a New York nail tech. However, in the same salon that I was going to, I decided to give my new nail tech a try. And honestly, I'm afraid to tell you guys about my nail tech because the last time I went on and on about my previous nail tech every time someone saw my nails it asked me where i got my nails done and i'd recommend ocean which meant that she got busier and busier and busier which means that every time i go there i have to go there an hour before the store open then sit and wait an additional hour and a half for her to come in because she run on her own time she says if you want to get in my seat you'll wait and sometimes you get there late or you know things happen in your life that you're not able to be the first one in line and you i'd sit there for sometimes two three hours trying to get my nails done luckily there was divine intervention and i decided to give my new nail tech a try and i absolutely am obsessed with your work i'm gonna give you guys a close-up because these oh my god you guys look at this set look at the cuticle look at the shape when the girls ask for almond this is what they're asking for beautiful like every nail is perfectly shaped i like my almond with a slight point at the end and that's what i told her to do and she executed literally no flaws just know that for this entire week i'll be talking with my hands like i'm the type of person that feels my nails all the time i'm always looking at my hands like all the time and i can pick up the slightest flaw and i'm telling you with this set absolutely no flaw every nail is perfectly straight even though some of my fingers are slightly crooked every nail is perfectly straight the shapes complement each other it looks like she said copy and paste she is a magician so good like my hands look so freaking stunning i I'm obsessed that was it for last week i really do hope that you guys were able to come on this ride with me this is not how i typically do my vlogs but if you do 
enjoyed this style of a vlog a little sit down portion of me kind of interacting with you as you watch let me know below and i'll try to incorporate more videos like this just to see how it works out i really do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you do not miss when i post another video and as always until next time love you bye Hello.